Hello, guys. Let's talk about formula weight and molecular weight. So the formula weight is simply the sum of atomic weights of each atom in a chemical formula. And if this chemical formula is actually a formula of a molecule, then it is the same as the so-called molecular weight. So let's practice this. What is the formula weight of potassium? So what is potassium, first of all? Potassium is an element, right? So it is monoatomic. How many atoms do we have? Only one, right? Which means that the formula weight of potassium equals simply to the atomic weight, AW, of potassium. Now we can go to the periodic table and get that value. So if we do that, let's find potassium real quick. Where is that element? It's element number 19, right? Where is the atomic weight? It's right below the symbol, so this is 39.0983. We can round up to, let's say, two significant digits after the decimal place, which is going to give us 39.10. Uh, so the formula weight or the atomic weight of potassium is 39.10. And what is our unit? Atomic mass unit, AMU. Okay, the next one, what is the formula weight of nitric acid? Formula weight of nitric acid. What is nitric acid? It is the formula. So the formula is HNO3, right? So we need to take the sum of the atomic weights of each atom in here. So how many hydrogen atoms do we have in nitric acid? Only one, right? So we will need to take the atomic weight of hydrogen plus the atomic weight of all the nitrogen atoms. How many nitrogen atoms do we have? One only, right? So the atomic weight of nitrogen. And how many oxygen atoms do we have in the formula? Three, right? So we need to take three times the atomic weight of oxygen. So from here, we can go back to the periodic table and actually get the values. So let's start with hydrogen. Where is hydrogen? This is a simple one, right? It is the first element right there. So its atomic weight is 1.01. .01. I'm rounding up again. So 1.01 .01 AMU. Plus, let's find the atomic weight of nitrogen. Where is nitrogen? It's element number 7, right? So the atomic weight is 14.01. We are rounding up again. So 14.01, right? AMU. Plus, since I have three oxygen atoms, three times the atomic weight of oxygen, where is oxygen in the periodic table? It's element number eight right here, and it's 15.9994, which I'm going to round up to 16.00. So three times 16.00 AMU. Now, if you do this calculation, you are going to get 63 0.02 AMU for the formula weight of nitric acid. Okay, let's do another example. Let's try to figure out the molecular weight of glucose. Okay, so this is a molecule. Again, we need to take the sum of the atomic weights of each atom. So, molecular weight, MW, of glucose, which is C6, H12O6. So first, I'm going to take uh, carbon into account. How many carbon atoms do we have? Six, right? So I need to take six times the atomic weight of carbon plus how many hydrogen atoms do we have? Twelve, right? Twelve times the atomic weight 
of hydrogen plus how many oxygen atoms do we have in this molecule? Six, right? So six times the atomic weight of oxygen. Okay, so now uh, we can plug in the number. So six times going back to the periodic table, where is carbon? Carbon is element number six, right? So its atomic weight is 12.01 AMU. So 12.01 AMU plus 12 times the atomic weight of hydrogen, and we just had hydrogen, so it's 1.01 .01 AMU, also from the periodic table. And then we need to take oxygen, so we also just did oxygen, there was 6 times 16.00 AMU. Okay, now if you do this calculation, you are going to get 180 point eighteen AMU. Okay, so that is the molecular weight of glucose. Now, uh, it's also important uh, to be able to calculate the percentage by mass of each type of an element in a compound. Okay, and uh, we can do that using this huge formula right here, but it's not complicated at all. So if I want to calculate the mass percent composition of an element, I need to take the number of atoms of the element in the formula or in the molecule. I need to take the atomic weight of that element, uh, multiply the two together, and divide that by the formula weight of the substance times 100 because we are talking about the percentage. Okay, so let's try to calculate the mass percentage of carbon in methane. So methane is CH4, and we are trying to calculate the percent mass of carbon in CH4. All right, so first I need the number of atoms of the element. So how many atoms of carbon do I have in CH4? One, right? So one times, I need the atomic weight of the element. We just did carbon. If you look at the periodic table, you are going to see that its atomic weight is 12.01 AMU, right? And I have to divide that by the formula weight of the substance. So I actually need to calculate the formula weight of CH4, but I can do that right below there. So I need to take the atomic weight of carbon, right, which is 12.01 AMU, and plus the atomic weight of four hydrogen atoms, because I have four hydrogen atoms in methane. So four times 1.01. .01 AMU times 100%. Okay, if you do this calculation, you are going to arrive to 74.8%. So this means that 74.8% of CH4 is actually carbon. Why is that? You only have one carbon atom and four hydrogen atoms, but carbon is significantly heavier than hydrogen. So overall, close to 75% of CH4 is actually going to be carbon. Okay, I hope this makes sense. See you in the next video.